What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red X Gaming. I am Jax, and, um, we are here with Okami. Sorry about that. Uh, a game that I played when it was out on the Wii and utterly adored, and now it's out in HD for PC, and I'm eager. Especially after, oh, the, the, the rage of getting over it. Something beautiful is really going to be nice right now. For those of you that don't know, you're about to get the story, but this game is, the entire premise of this game is basically, uh, you are a wolf goddess that has come to return order, I think it is. But the, the, the big thing that about this game when it came out is that it was, the art style is fucking gorgeous, and there's also a painting mechanic that happens in the game. Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet bird was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Come closer to me, microphone. Come closer to me. I don't feel like yelling right now. Spooky! To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. It's so pretty. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for air, breath. He knew he was starting, staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. I do wish that I could make the text go a little faster. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shiranui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames.
As Orochi closed in on Shirunui, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shirunui fought gallantly to the gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shirunui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow, but Shirunui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms, he leapt ferociously towards Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the village was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the... Okay, I can't... Ugh. Once again in the sky. Shirinui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. When they reached the village, Shirinui was no longer moving. The village elders gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shirinui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki Village. In honor of Shirinui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukuyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. But! However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. Hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shirinui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village ever even took notice. I'm gonna play playing with the mouse because I remember the painting was the struggle with the controller. Uh oh. Is this a legendary sword? Is this Tsukiyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. You are an idiot. Get unfucked up! Oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds. Speak the words, I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me, and unleash my power. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well. A 
horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seems to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Oh, hello. Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years. I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami Amaterasu. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the or origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior, whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago, has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Woof! Amaterasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to de devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon, but never have the circumstances been worse. And they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Huh? What is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? She's being tickled. There he is! <sighs> what on earth? You again? Ow, ow, ow. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting. That's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. <laughs> well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, Furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it! You look just like that statue of Shiradui. Well, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isun. Don't make me use my prized sword, Tenkomaru, against you. Oh shit. This is a very long cutscene. What's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. 
Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakuya girl sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Okay. No more cutscenes, please. Uh, where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the mouse to look around. C changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Okay, first things first. No, that's... There we go. Where's... There we go. Okay, there we go. I'm a dog. Oh, right. Oh. Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on the surface, your memory is restored. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you could always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially when you're still learning the ropes. All right, then. Save. Okay, here we go. If you look, yep, pot's break to be broken. Don't, yep, fucking, I know. Ooh, money. Oh, the camera is very sensitive. Hold on. There we go. Neom. If you're gonna tell me how to jump, I, I'm I'm sorry. I know I'm skipping over dialogue, but it's tutorial dialogue. All right, I forgot I can do wall jumps. Holy bone! Restores three units of solar energy. Everything is broken. Good. Oh dear. Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be hard on Amaterasu, was it? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Amy? Listen, Amy, ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork is his own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'd take all day to explain. The picture's a thousand words, right? Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of the many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I practiced really hard just to master this one technique. There are 13. Each one is the power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single, powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods don't dwell within objects around us, but god or no god, how can anyone have the power to master all 13? No. River of the Heavens. The River of the Heavens? You mean the Sable Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. Couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? Yum. This game is very, very pretty. Wow! Look at the stars twinkle! I haven't seen such a beautiful sight. Nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look! 
Are those stars forming a pattern, or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Ah, looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Hold on, just, I just want to check. I, okay, there we go. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna play with controller. Boom! It's just the way I'm used to. I love controller games. <gasps> it's a Dargan! A very pretty Dargan. Ooh. Yumigami. Wow, why if it isn't Mother Matsurasu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Hey, my first symbol. Wow, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of star uh, the heavens? That would mean you were as good with the brush as me, as yours truly. Yep. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Boink. Ah, uh, Twinkle. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up. Let me do the thing. Why? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Swimming, swimming, swimming. We did it. Obtained Astral Pouch. This Astral Pouch is amazing. It's swallowed lots of food. Then it's so full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. So the X button actually does allow me to speed up st uh, the text. Good. Smashy, smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Smashy, smashy. Consume Peach. Juicy and fragrant peach. Fills actual pouch a little bit. Apple. Nectar filled sour apple. Fills pouch a little bit. Orange. Orange with sharp citrus taste. Fills pouch a little bit. Okay, I don't have cut yet. Tackle. Thank you. Near no. no. faster. I 
knew it. Dumplings! Dumplings are so good. Smashy, smash me. Is this? Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi's enshrined here. He vanquished evil a thousand hundred years ago with the help of the white wolf Shirinui. First the river of the heavens and now this place? Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword's in really bad shape. The gods sure didn't do much to protect this place. I knew it. You can handle a brush. Now try again. Draw more carefully. Boom! Sword! That really was your brushwork after all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you, anyway? Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like a... I don't remember what that is, but... I think it's a rodent of some kind. With a sword! That's a big-ass sword. Tachigami! Well, well, well! If it isn't Mother Amaterasu, it's been a long time. But with all these monsters around, the only place I could guide was in this shrine, dedicated to ancient heroes. If there is anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. Hey, that was a guy from Tamagotchi. Uh, that was wrong, but I don't remember what it was. I'm sorry. Master, the power slash technique. Wait a minute. If you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that Shirinui. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside Negi? When Shirinui died, the wolf's power was split to the 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shirinui and Nagi, it's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that folder over there? Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. Okay, no. It's it's too slow with the, the uh, controller. I didn't think you had it in you, Furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Hey, Furball. Er, I mean, Matarasu, I've made up my mind. If you're shooting your reborn, that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. Aww. It's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Sakuya was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. I don't remember. Control. Okay, control is it. Boom! Okay, yeah, it's really satisfying with the the... the Mouse, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, guys, you wanna see something cool? Shook! Oh, I'm out of ink, but... Oh, right, that was the other reason I did that. Because you get a lot of fruit from cutting down trees. What? Oh dear! What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know the divine instrument you have in your back? Well, press the click to use the power against them. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Look, Ami! Once you've cut them off guard and turned them black and white, they're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. I forgot how cool this game's combat was. Ink bottle! Ooh, nice. Achievement unlocked. I don't know why those pop-ups are so big. I'm sorry, guys. 
I don't, I'm not exactly sure how to record without those coming up. No. Give me that money. Yum. Damn it, I keep forgetting. Dunk. Give me that fruit from my pouch. Okay, that's not gonna work, so. Like that, and that. And I'm out of ink. Did that give me any fruit or food? Oh. Whoosh. Whoosh. Oh boy, here we go again. Oh, he's already dead. Okay. Woo! Noom. Stop. Oh! Oh, I forgot about that. I can make stars. God, this game is so pretty. Okay, I will stop this video. When I cut down, uh, you know what? No, we're gonna leave this video off here, and we'll cut down the, uh, we'll cut down the tree, or the cut down the people of the villagers in the next video. I am sorry it ran long, but I didn't want this video to be just cutscene. Uh, anyways, if you like the video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. If you want to buy me a coffee, the link's down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And, uh, thanks for watching. Later, y'all.